Welcome my Aquarius is to your December monthly zodiac sign reading. I'm Christine. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. It's great to have you here. Thank you all for being here. We're going to dive into tarot and some oracle and see what is coming for you in December, what you must need to know. Apologies if you hear my dogs. I got two wiener dogs <laughs> adding to the choir. What do my Aquariuses most need to know for December, please. <laughs> Be careful about trying to do too much. Interesting. I'm shuffling and I had, look at this, I had all these cards just turn. It just, the rest of the cards were flip down and they just turned and you have your knight of wands and the star your energy so be careful of trying to do too much or going in and out in many different things almost like you're picking at a um hors d'oeuvres you know when you're at some type of event and they have different appetizers and hors d'oeuvres coming and you're just snacking be careful of spreading your energy like that i feel that it can burn you out quickly Let's see. Oh, wow. Look what we have here for December, my Aquarius. We got justice, Libra energy. We got three of swords, air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There's something you need to put a hard stop on. You have to pull the plug on something. There's something that you need to break away from. I feel like, again, I keep seeing the Knight of Wands. Your energy is scattered right now. So it could mean pursuing or, uh, what is it, balancing or juggling multiple priorities, responsibilities, but you're draining yourself as a result. You're not giving your all in one in a very optimal way, like quality way. It's like you're spreading yourself too thin, trying to do everything. It's like okay, I want to train for a marathon and I want to learn three new languages and I want to do this. It's like that. So be careful again because I'm getting here. There's a hard stop coming in December where either you're going to finally just shut the boundaries. You're going to shut down and be like, okay, I can't. I have to say no because there's an energy of retreating, of stopping and of almost like... You know when you're just tired and you turn your phone off? It's like that. <laughs> you're like, I can't. Or when someone, maybe something, if they keep talking or emailing to you or texting you and you're like, I can't. And you just turn off the notifications. This is exactly what I'm getting here. Strong boundaries are needed. Some of you actually need to speak up about that and you don't. And it has to do with boundaries with yourself. The Aquarius, as I'm talking to here, you're taking on too much. Sometimes things, because they're intellectually motivating and stimulating, but they not they may not necessarily always be tasks that require that in-depth or prior, prioritization at that moment. You know, sometimes you catch something that interests you and then you go down a rabbit hole in it and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't have to do that right now. I could have saved that for another time. It's that energy. So really think about in December, what are my priorities? What do I really care about? And perhaps preceding all of that, what do I want to accomplish in this month? Maybe it's wrapping up things or cleaning up things and not starting anything new, not taking anything new. Because there's something here with this justice energy about uh, finishing, finishing things up. And I'm hearing resolution, finding swift resolution, justice. So some of you just need to complete and wrap things up before taking on new things, before committing, or before saying yes. And even on the horizon, saying yes to opportunities way down the road when you haven't even completed or started what you've set about at this current juncture of your life. With this energy too, though, with the Three of Swords, some of you are still healing from, recovering from past wounds. It could be from recent you know within this time frame that we're that you're seeing this or it could be older than that and i feel like it's largely having to do with expressing your boundaries hold on we're going to clarify 
Can we clarify the three of swords, please? Let me shuffle this. Some of you with the knight of wands too, it speaks of other people in your life that are not consistent with you that are coming in and out. These are all relationships, not just romantic. I always have to say that because everyone immediately thinks it's romantic. Some of you are dealing with wishy-washy people in your life. Work, friendships, it could be family, it could be romantic, all relationships. There's something you need to speak up about in December that's coming to you about relationships, about asserting your boundaries. More importantly, asking yourself, what do I deserve and what don't I deserve? Because some of you are allowing, I'm hearing weasels, you're allowing energies that have no business being in your bubble. It's causing more pain to you because some of you may be thinking, okay, this is it. It's going to change. This is the time. Things are going to be different. Can we clarify the three of swords? I'm hearing Ninja Turtles. Did it turn? No, I thought it turned. Can we clarify the Three of Swords, please? Can we clarify the Three of Swords? Thanks. <laughs> Got two cards. Bottom of the deck, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Again, another balance. Oh, we got Ace of Cups, Water Energy, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about the three of, this was clarifying the three of swords. There's something that I feel, several things that are coming to me. This is a pain and a wound that has, it's not new, it's, it's old. And that's relative, but it's been a while. With pentacles, it could be seven weeks, seven months, seven years longer. For, for a few, it could be decades, decades. It doesn't have to be seven though. There's something of an enduring longevity here. And I feel like it has to do with the pattern more than with the person, the relationship or the situation itself. I feel like this definitely concerns matters of the heart, your emotions, it could, any relationship. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but something that has caused, excuse me, there's something, I even just got a call, a phone call here. <laughs> there's something here that's coming up for healing and it has to do with someone else that you have to let go of. This was big. This person may have been a big part of your life or the situation may have occupied space. For some, this can concern job where there's some type of toxicity environments, coworkers that literally stab you in the back. I'm mean, saying that metaphorically but there's also relationships in that dynamic. So there's something here where you need to assert yourself and you need to ask yourself either why are you ruminating about this or replaying this and what do you need to learn from this? What is coming up for you that's repeating? Same thing if you're still engaged with this. I'm gonna ask, I usually don't. Do my Aquariuses need to release from this, let go of this? Everything indicates a yes. I don't think I've ever clarified a clarifier <laughs> or clarified cards. Got the star card again at the bottom of the deck. Some of you need major or major healing is coming up around this. This could be something longstanding. Knight of Wands again in another deck. You guys, who's in your energy? Two of Swords. Who's in your energy? that you've been trying to make things work with for so long and it's not. This is someone that comes in and out. Some of you maybe they may be breadcrumbing you or you them or you were both breadcrumbing each other because there's mirroring energies here where you're like, yeah, we can be friends when you know you can't. If there's something that needs to be cut off here, something, pattern, belief, and I feel strongly relationship. Someone that comes in and out of your life, in and out intermittently, they're not consistent. And they, they got a hold on you in some way. There's heavy emotions wrapped up around this. Some of you, it's because you're in a job for so long and you want to leave. Part of that first means recognizing what's happening, what's coming up, and not taking a victim role. I, I don't feel like that though. I feel like this is the end of this and you're being shown something to learn. So clarifying the Ace of Cups and Seven of Cups against about whether you need to leave. We got Six of Swords. We got it in reverse. Upright is a yes. I feel like this is still saying a yes, but there's a, a resistance. So there's something here that's telling me that 
whatever situation you've been holding on to or that has a hold on you, it could be karmic. It could be something you still haven't learned, which is why it's still triggering you and it's still you're still feeling attached to it. You got to get the knife out of yourself first and then figure out how to take care of that wound because some of you still have that knife in there. Metaphorical, you guys. Because until you stop the bleeding, it's going to keep bleeding. So you first have to ask yourself, what are my values and what do I deserve in this situation? Whether it's a job or another relationship with a friend, family, lover, whatever. Are you receiving that? Because if you're not, that's your clue to get into justice mode and ask yourself, well, I need to speak up. If they're not willing to give it to me, you're being guided to walk away, to go elsewhere. And you have that. you got a lot of sword energy here. Look at this. Hangman. Okay, we're going to continue on. <laughs> wow. What other messages does the universe have for my Aquarius? This please for December. Some of you are being asked not to nurture this anymore because some of you have. Whatever keeps coming back in your life that just keeps causing more pain than anything, that's, that's what needs to be uh, let go of. But you got to actually figure out first um, why you're letting go. There's something you have to learn that you're still not, I feel, recognizing. You got solitude and silence. Peace prevails. Look at this, the bottom of the deck, taking shelter. Some of you need to go within and meditate. Connect with your guides, pray, meditation, connect with yourself. Get away from the noise, the clutter, emotional energies of, of the collective of people around you. Some of you also need to get out of your head and stop ruminating, stop thinking. Get out of the intellectual part of your head and let go of that. Because some of you are trying to rationalize something that is not working out. Your intuition is needed here strongly. Some of you need to pay attention to the signs by first getting out of your head. This is hard when you're a thinker. Rest is important here because I'm getting a little bit of a stress up here in the mind. This is time with, think about the first thing that pops in your head about what makes you feel really good. Going to the beach, listening to music, eating ice cream, I don't, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, engage in that and allow yourself to really, really, really feel how good it feels. Pose the question that it is that you're seeking clarity on and wait for the answers. Don't suffocate it. Don't go back to thinking about it. Every time you think about it, do something else and replace it. This is going to take a lot of awareness. And I feel, you know, the thing is, I feel like you guys are super aware about this. See the shadow here <laughs> you know people that peer through the window i'm one of those at night i like peer through my window i'm like what's going on out there but i just check it's like that many of you are aware of what's going on there's something here about trusting what you're feeling and your intuition many of you know this is long overdue whatever it is that you are resisting ending or saying goodbye to i feel like you already know what else do my Aquariuses need to know, please, for December? Thank you. Got two cards. We got Saturn, Wisdom. That's your traditional ruler, my Aquariuses. Key themes include discipline, structure, time, responsibility, tests, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container, bones, maturity, gravity, and scaffolding. Saturn. Wisdom. There's something here. This is indicating to me, you. this is, a. I feel, a strongly a karmic cycle. Something is being highlighted to you, like, hey, you're at the finish line of this. You are ready to learn this lesson, but you're being asked what's this lesson that you're learning because Saturn's not going to give you the answer because then that would mean what's the purpose of Saturn <laughs> there's a lesson here that you've been needing to learn this has been going on for quite some time for many of my Aquariuses what is it because of this emotions I can give you the general realm deals with emotions relationships holding on too much Some of you, this could concern external validation. 
So think about what's been repeating in these cycles with these people or in similar themes. Like if you're seeing your relationships popping off in the same way and the same type of folks coming in all areas of your life and all relationships, there's something there to identify. Because you're meant to assert yourself, communicate your truth and speak up and also clarify your boundaries. Something's about to expire with Saturn. There's always Saturn usually has to do with um, death, decaying, uh, rotting away, expiration, the ending of the physical in some way. And this could be metaphorical too. It's as if the timer is about to go off and you're getting nudged here like, hey, it's time. That's why going within and taking time out is going to really help you connect those pieces. You know, when you just take time out for yourself, whether it's at a spa or the beach or on a walk or simply on your sofa and you're just laying down listening to some music or, or nothing you can just be hanging out that's when you really glean the most in those moments things come to you too when you while you're on the toilet while you're in the shower while you're driving while you're walking you start getting those puzzle pieces your second card third house perception themes associated include speech thoughts social media excursions, dating, siblings, research, street life, circulation, discussion surrounding sociability. Third house also has to do with the local, local area, neighbors, siblings, uncles, aunts sometimes, virtual world. Some of you may have Saturn in your third house or you may have a confluence of energies or placements in the third house. The situation could also be about setting boundaries in these areas too. Okay. What other messages does Archangel Michael have please for my Aquariuses? Thank you. We got 33. This is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith that your angels will have the situation under control. What will come is far better than you dare dream. You got threes here, third house and 33. Some of you are seeing three different variations of threes. This connects to ascended masters, two spiritual, uh, I was going to say spiritual angels, but angels, which are spiritual, <laughs> naturally connected to that realm. Speaks of communication too, how you express yourself. Be careful of deluding yourself or telling yourself the same story when something has to change because your perception is being highlighted here of something. There's some fogginess around here. So again, be very clear with yourself, like do a reality check with yourself on what it is that you're seeing and what is the truth, not what you want things to be or what you hope things to be or the potential of someone or something. Look at the whole, the cold, hard facts, the truth. Saturn won't lie to you there, nor will your intuition because you'll feel it. Okay, let's get advice. Can we get advice, please, for my Aquariuses for December? Some of you are, are trying to uh, think your way through this instead of trusting what you're feeling, your intuition and psychically what you're sensing. Many of you already know the buzzers went off. In other words, the expiration date is done. The timer has gone off in this situation and some of you are holding on, hoping things are going to turn around. It's as if an apple has rotted already and you're trying to magically make it young again. You're trying to bring back the, what is it? The um, ripeness, the best part of the apple when it was at its peak. Kind of like a banana too, you know, when it ripens. Well, the best way to do, to, to use that ripened banana is just make a smoothie or smush it and make bread or something like that. You can't really turn back the time and make it green. So there's something here about coming to the truth of this. You've got quite a few cards for your 
for your advice. So let's go through this. Some of you, this is simply just accepting the truth. With a lot of sword energy, this is going to be painful for some of you. Even if you're seeing it, you're experiencing it, some of you simply need to say out loud to yourself, this is what's going on and accept it. There's something that you're needing to grow from. It could be an attachment as well. We got Ace of Swords for your advice. <laughs> the Lovers, Gemini Energy, King of Swords. Shit, you guys got a lot of sword energy here. King of Wands, whoa. Eight of Swords. Don't keep yourself in this mental prison. Some of you simply need to take responsibility for yourself, not anyone else right now. You're about to get major, major news. I feel like it's a spiritual, spiritual download communication. It could also be someone or something that you've been holding on to or the situation that I've referenced that you're going to see something for what it is. This is the truth coming in big time. And this is going to lead to greater balance, but it's also going to, I feel there's a lot of truth coming in with these swords, especially the King of Swords, Ace of Swords. Something is going to be revealed to you. It's going to harmonize everything, but I feel first there's some type of truth that has to be put out in the air, has to be acknowledged. Because we got the King of Wands and Eight of Swords. I feel like once the universe is advising you to seek the truth, to look at the truth. Some of you discernment, intuition is popping up here. Because I feel like there's something strongly imbalanced here. And the truth is going to help things come into balance. King of Wands is really shining a light on this too and also stepping it up and taking responsibility. Eight of Swords has to do with your energy though. Some of you are like in cycles of, of pain or feeling the same pain because you're not seeing something. It's a, as if you have to remove those rose-colored glasses it's time to grow from the situation. And, and I feel like during this time, perhaps in meditation or in solitude and your alone time, you're gonna understand what's been happening because something's been pinging at you. Some, some of you are recreating and replaying scenes from earlier parts of your life that you're being asked to learn from, especially as it relates to relationships. This has a lot to do with asserting yourself, communicating your truth, knowing your value and your worth, and respecting yourself and your boundaries. Some of you need to gate yourself, like create a gate. You need to gatekeep yourself from some energies that are just, that are just trespassing because all it does is hurt you. My Aquarius says, I hope this reading has helped. Comment down below and let me know what's going on and if this resonates. If this has helped in any way, I would love it if you could please support me and my growing channel. The best way is to hit the thumbs up button. I want to, I keep getting this to show you this, that this is a blessing in disguise. So something that you feel like you kept trying to make it work and it's just like it's not. You're being asked to speak this out aloud. Journal it, write it. There's something here that you need to first connect the dots and speak aloud because what you don't recognize and see, you may keep dismissing and almost not wanting to see. I don't know how else to explain it. It's like when you see something, you may have evidence, you may have proof, photos, and you're still not believing it. And there's something that's being asked of you. Well, what? Why not? Like, what is it that you're not seeing that's not truthful to you? And what are you trying to hide from? Some of you may be fixated that this situation or this person is meant for you. You may have made up your own story, like this is how it's going to be and it's not happening in that way and you're forcing it and pushing it. And the universe is asking you to back away, disconnect from this, 
because there's something more that you're not seeing. Thank you so much, my Aquariuses. I hope the rest of this month brings beautiful opportunities and blessings to you. I'll see you soon. Take care.